Hi, you're welcome back. This is the second module of this course. And here I'll be talking about WordPress. What is WordPress really? And I'll also show you how to get started with WordPress. The first thing I'm going to say is WordPress is what we call a content management system. It's like a template system. If you know Canva, what you know about Canva is that all the graphics are already done. You just go there, you pick what you want, and you edit and you use. That's what WordPress is to web design. It is us building on something that already exists. And so I will show you the step-by-step -step that it takes to build a WordPress, a WordPress site. First thing is buy a domain name, which by now you would have successfully done. So that's why I have that checked. The second thing is to buy a hosting plan and install your SSL certificate, which also ought to be done by now because that is your assignment from last class. And perhaps you haven't done that. Please, it is very important that you follow through on it. Once this is done, then let me show you how to install WordPress. So you bought your domain name, you've hosted it, if you observe, when you visit this domain name you just bought, you won't see anything on it. It will be plain. It will probably show you something like root domain or CGI bin. You, it will be a blank page. Let's say you bought textomnigeria.com and you haven't done anything on it. By default, it will be plain. The first thing we need to do is we need to install WordPress on that domain name. What does that mean? Let's see WordPress as a tool that we are going to install on our website so that whenever people visit our website, our website then becomes powered by WordPress. Enough talk. Let me show you how that is done. The same thing will be done under your cPanel. Remember, one way to access your cPanel is by clicking your, for example, text on nigeria let's say that's your domain name whatever your domain name is dot com dot org and put a slash and c panel behind it it will automatically ask you to log into your c panel and then you can use the details provided by your hosting company paraventure your hosting company didn't send you one feel free to chat with their customer support and let them guide you in case you use a new hosting plan that's one way. The second way, which I also showed you, is to log into your own account, like what I have here. Go to your hosting plan list, and then just click on go to cPanel. It might not be this visible, but look around, you would always see it here. So that's how I got here. This is my cPanel. And what I'm going to look out for here is very simple. I'm going to look out for software. There's a place here called software, and then you're going to see different tools. What we are going for is WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Alternatively, at the top here, you would see what is called Softaculous App Installer. So you can either use this or use the one below. So let's click on WordPress. These are other CMS platforms that you can also use to build a site, but we are not working with that. So I'll click on WordPress and let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to do something very quickly. All right, this is showing you all my current websites and their installation, bridgeofafrica.org, you know, etc. If you are to install, what do you do? There is the button is all over install, install now that's what you will click on but before i do that i want to show you something that might help you in the future have you seen websites that have something like um, shop.jumia.com food.jumia.com i'm sure you're familiar with domain names like that that's what we call a subdomain name or jumia.com forward slash food and it will show you an entirely different platform. You know, Amazon has that, or Google. If you click on drive.google.com, it's a whole tool. 
let me show you how you can create what is called a subdomain as well on your hosting plan so i will back out for a bit and then i'll come back to install wordpress on our tool good okay so here you're going to look out for what is called domains it's on that domains right here see in the middle so i'll click on domains this is showing you a list of my domain what you do is create a new domain i want to create a new domain name and i can create it under any of my previous ones so let's say i want to create it under yada i want to say courses dot yard academy dot org which is our website yard academy all right i can say courses dot yard academy dot org so enter the subdomain name let's say you bought a domain name called real fashion dot com it just means that you need to add it at the front and it's already showing you what the root domain will like. So just click on submit and you wait for a bit. All right. And once it is done, you should see something like this. Say success. You have successfully created the new courses.com domain with root, blah, 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 blah. And it also says, see, enabling HTTPS free one year is in progress for yardacademy.org. So you see that it's also important to have an SSL certificate so that that site, this subdomain will also have this little small dot. Very important. All right, now that we have that, I will go back to install WordPress because what I would do is I would be installing WordPress on this subdomain because all these are live website and I don't want to alter anything about them. Okay, again, in case this is not open, it's under Softaculous app installers, or you'd see software, either ones. So let's go with Softaculous, click on the drop down, select WordPress. Okay. And I'll click on install. All right. So here's what will happen. First thing is going to ask you to choose your site protocol which means is it a secured site or not you can see this one has http only no s which means it's not secured this one and the second one are, are pretty much the same thing the difference is that the one that has x shows that that site is secured so the second thing you have to choose is choose the domain name you want to install this wordpress on because it's possible that you have multiple domain names on your account so you need to choose the specific one that you want to install WordPress on. And that's what I will do. All right, so you can see that courses.yardacademy has been added, okay? So I will click on that. You don't want to put anything in directory because that's like adding an extra layer of it. See what you'll say, your installation is going to be HTTPS courses.yardacademy, which is what I want, that right? The next thing is you don't need to select this. It will by default select the most updated version of WordPress because WordPress is like an app. It's like a software that is running. So they update it, but just keep it on the highest. You may get this if your this report, if your SSL certificate has not been fully installed. It takes about 25 minutes and I just created it now. So, But in case that happens, what do you do? Just select the normal HTTP it will automatically update by itself. Is that all right? So just choose, I can choose WW, it doesn't matter whether WW is there or not, it doesn't matter. So I'll put that and site name, what's the name of the site? Yemi Ajibade Digital Academy Courses, let's say online courses. Oh, yeah, yeah, site description. I'll say tech training school. If you notice, let me show you where that goes. When I visit a platform like, you know, Namecheap, at the top here, you'll see something like, see, when I hover on this, it says buy a domain name register. So that's what we are trying to fill in here. Those details that you'll see tech training school in Nigeria, non-code 
no code non coding okay right once that is done let's set a username so this is what you are going to be using to log in after now you may not need to visit the cpanel again everything you are going to be doing is now going to be on wordpress which is exciting so for username let me say yard academy courses you might want to copy this down somewhere not you might want to you should copy it down so that you have it safely guarded let me see username i'm just putting my here you should save yours and then pass i will use this here recommended password and copy it you should set yours so that's something you can remember okay so that done don't worry it doesn't matter <laughs> whether it's in whether it's written in block letter but the, it's case sensitive you should know and then your admin email by default is going to write this i recommend that you change it to a gmail you have access to yard academy ng at gmail.com so that when they want to send you notifications this is the email they'll be sending it to please don't forget to change this preferably to an email you can easily access all right um that done you don't need to do much email installations to this is optional but i'll just add it yard academy ng at gmail.com and i'll say install this is the exciting part yes we first had to take care of seriously we first have to take care of the technical part and then before getting into this it's still going to be technical but you enjoy it okay see congratulations the software was installed successfully which means now our website courses.yardacademy is going to be running on a software in quote it is a software but not the kind of software you know called wordpress and this is the url to visit it you can see that there are two urls here one is just plain and this one is administrative url which is the back end this is where you do everything going forward and you can see the difference is that that has something like wp forward slash admin so let's click on both and see what we have there. I'll click on the first one. Okay, this is always a default look of any website you install WordPress on. So don't wonder what's going on. See, proudly powered by, it's just default. And let's select the second one, which is the administrative URL. This is going to carry us to the back end. all right if you can see here we are it says welcome to wordpress you know da 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 rishi rishi is here let me move to the right okay so now that we are done this is the next step installing wordpress on your domain name if you can notice this thing is what we also have here this is called the wordpress dashboard this is where you'll be playing for the rest of the course. This is where we'll be building those three different kind of websites I spoke about, a blog, a corporate website, and e-commerce. So this is going to be your home. Get familiar with it. I'll run you through it. So yeah, done. Okay. The next thing I will talk about is the anatomy of a WordPress website. What makes up a WordPress website? let's take a look at it the first is a theme like a template i may be using those words interchangeably a theme a template wordpress sites typically need a template to work wordpress has their own free template that you can use but you can also get premium templates let me show you how all right when you get back when you get down here you can see the menu this is home this are post maybe when you start publishing articles this is where you would go media this is where all your images pdf files anything you want to upload this is where they go videos that's like your gallery 
pages these are your web pages you know a website has multiple pages this is where you will find them right now nothing is here it's just plain comments appearance plugins i would explain that so let me go to appearance and click on appearance let's see what comes up okay so you see that this is the active theme it says active 2023 and they have all that themes just in case you want to try your hands on something you can click on add new theme or you click at the bottom at the top here either ways so you can select one of their free templates or theme to use so you can see 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 some this is your website a better way this looks kind of nice so let me if you see anyone you like and you want your site to carry that template all you just need to do is click on install so it's going to install that theme that particular template on your site but that's not all you now need to activate it so that it replaces what you had before and this is what we had see nothing special nothing so i'll click on activate now and then we can check out our site it says new theme activated you see that they called it theme Sometimes they'll tell you template. So let's see, visit site. It's still not showing us so much. Do you want to know why? It's because we have not installed the plugin. Now, that brings me to the next step of what makes up a WordPress website. I've touched on a template. I've shown you how to get the free template already there on WordPress. They have third party platforms that sell themes like premium themes that are more sophisticated than what you find here. And I'll show you that also. The second thing is plugin. Plugin. How do you how do I explain plugin? Plugins are like tools that you like mechanisms that support that you give your site to make it do some things on its own, just like you can see here. I even like the fact that this is just showing us a plain page nothing see the site the reason why is this way is we have not installed the plugin that will make it do what it's meant to do so for example there is a plugin that enables you accept payments there is a plugin that enables you connect your website to social media so that your instagram feed is showing on your page there are plugins for almost everything so plugin in are like turbo boosters they are like chargers for your wordpress template they are what make it do specific things or oh, you want your site's home page to be turning around there's a plugin for that you want a timer to be counting down there's a plugin you want a button that when people click they can share to whatsapp there is a plugin for everything so that's the second important thing that makes wordpress work the third thing that makes it work are what we call page builders i already mentioned to you that wordpress is like a template which you buy or install and then you start to customize you move things around they wrote hello world in their own headline you will change it to welcome to yada they added an image of a lady you are not selling anything related to that you change your own to a bag that's how wordpress works and the final thing is content content all right so let me show you let's go on and install this plugin if you notice i want the site to show properly so that you see and get a feel of it if you notice the moment we activated this we activated it it's saying want to get started with a beautiful starter team install the cadence startup plugin template so i mean plugin so let's do that. The button is already here for us. Install Cadence Starter Template. This is what would enable our site come alive. That's what would allow it to show everything that is there. Um, what is this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. So see, I would still show you how to log into your site properly, but okay. I think we got logged out for a bit. I will just say, remember me. Remember the username and 
password we created that's what it is for do you understand okay i'll just save i recommend that you save the password on your browser if it's your personal pc okay i just logged in again so let's try once more Mm -mm -mm. all right it says activated let's see let's see let's see what we got here okay this is awesome where did that stuff go i have not chosen now if you notice it brought out something right now that said choose a page builder and it says gutenberg so let me explain what page builders are I'm taking it step by step. First, I've shown you what a template is. They are pre-built websites that you can install and then customize. Plugins are function or abilities for your site. If you want your site to do any special feature, there is a plugin for it. For example, if you run an e-commerce website, there is a plugin by DHL that enables them to process your shipping. So that once someone is buying your handbag, for example, and they chose Ibadan, the price is going to be different based on that plugin. That's what plugin. The third thing are page builders. Page builders are what you use to rearrange the content on a page. And we're going to get there. But this is just to give you an overview, pending where we get to building. And finally, content. Every site needs a content for sure. <laughs> all right what do we got here okay 